Kate, five out of f- five. Five out of five. I really loved it. I even really liked the first half of the book. I think more than it, most other people in the book. Sell club. me on it. Let's 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 say this book well, through your. I mean, I know it was slow at the beginning. I really liked the setup of the world. I really liked just Miriam trying to pull herself out of poverty and you know start to try and live her life. Like I found that stuff all really really fascinating. And just the story of. Miriam trying to take over her father's business and Wanda trying to get out from under the thumb of her father. I found all that stuff really, really compelling. Just even like from a literary story point of view, just even outside like a sci-fi fantasy story. And switching so point I of didn't, views didn't bog you down. Oh, not at all. The only time I even, well, because I was reading it, I wasn't listening to it. Mm-hmm. But the only time I was like, oh wait, who's talking here was the first chapter that Stepan showed up because yeah. he hadn't been a narrated character yet. So I was like, but then as soon as I said like Wanda and Sergei, I was like, oh, okay, it's Stepan. Um, I'm but, going uh, to argue later on that having Stepan, who is technically just naive, inexperienced, young, having him narrate some of the most important chapters of the book. I actually really liked that. That was one of the things I wanted to point out, that um, putting it through the lens of a kid who doesn't know, like, the technical terms on. of anything. Yeah. Yeah, having, like, the fight through his eyes where he's essentially just like said about everything. I actually thought that was really, really interesting because most other books would have had it, you know, described as a fight as usually described, either in third person or from an adult's point of view. Do you know what it was hard? It was hard for me because he had the sentence structure and storytelling of a kid. And it's like those times where... You know, a kid will try to tell you the story, and they're like, and then, and then this happened, and then this happened, out, and then this and happened, then that, and then that, and you're oh. just like, oh, that doesn't, none of it makes sense. I stopped listening five minutes ago, so it's like, I, I get no, the, I really liked that, and I'm someone who doesn't even like kids. I just I really liked it because it was very in character, and like it felt like a kid was telling the story and it was just very different than how another book would do it so I just really liked everything about this book I liked all the characters even Minertis and the Stara King I just found them all like I really just liked everything about it how do all Americans say Staric? Steric? I said Steric Steric that's how I pronounced it how like, did the like audio Eric. Do it? like Eric no, with like a... Eric Steric. why did it say Staric? Star- yeah it said Staric yeah Staric but it was also like Staric like this that's how the narrator would talk the entire time with very little differentiation between other characters. Yeah, like and that's on one point. He's saying it with a Slavic three. accent, so yeah, yeah, that is what I'm doing. Staric. Staric. The Staric King has arrived. Staric. Staric. Hysteric. Oh. Vaden, four out of five. Yes. Uh, yeah. I liked it. Like a lot of people, I like I liked the beginning, not as much as Kate, but definitely liked it. But then the end was a lot better overall. Like it just, everything got wrapped up. Every character got their climax. Everything worked out mm-hmm. fairly well. Like I, I didn't feel like anything was missing. That's one thing. It's, yeah. It's, I, I mean, that's a, lot a of good books. fairy tale-esque type thing, isn't it? It doesn't leave questions. It paints a really beautiful picture. Everyone kind of ends up happy, rewarded. Falling into those stereotypes of that Disney and fairy tale, if you are a good person good things will happen to you if you're a bad person you will be punished kind of yeah and also this i just like how everything like everything was answered essentially like i like said i don't i'm not like that one just leaves a ton of questions unanswered in this case everything every person everything it's was almost wrapped like up. it's a standalone book <laughs> exactly i love that yeah colleen five out of five talk to me i read a lot of slavic fairy tales when i was little so How? this book really resonated with me. I recognized the culture. I recognized some of the language, what they were doing. And I've also been uh, reading a lot about Jewish history lately. Mm-hmm. I really liked this. I even liked the different first person POVs. I've actually read a couple of other books recently that are kind of like that. And I think it's a really interesting way to get everything everybody's perspective and still stay again without being like the omniscient narrator deity kind of thing so i i just really enjoyed it 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 reminded me of some of the things i read when i was little I was going to say, it sounds like you having a lot of experience in the subject matter has enhanced and helped further sort of your enjoyment for the book. Definitely. And I love that you have that because then you get to pass it on to all of us (laughs) because knowledge is power. 
And now we're all a bit more powerful because of you. That's kind of cool. Avery, 4.5 out of 5. Talk me through it. I agree with a lot of what both uh, Colleen and Kate said uh, about just the way the story flowed together. I also really enjoyed the beginning. And I, I agree that like the beginning felt almost historical versus like the second half being more fantasy. Fantastical. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, we've talked about this with other books, but I just love fairy tales. And I love, like I mentioned last week, I love how uh, Naomi Novik was able to kind of like reclaim a fairy tale. Yes. and talk about some of the issues with the original in this version which I think was really cool and I like I said I loved how they showed the different women struggling in different areas of society uh, for me the 4.5 was mostly just like the switching perspective in the first person yeah. I felt like made it a little bit confusing sometimes like I was usually able to figure out who it was I don't know something about switching perspectives in first person I just feel like can be a lot yes especially when there's that many different perspectives. And, and they keep adding yeah. them in. That's a, a big discussion we had in the Fable Breakdown when we're like, oh, I'm sorry, is this another perspective? Because we started getting in Magreta, who is the lady-in-waiting in a way, the pseudo-mother, caretaker, the braider. You had Stepan, you had Minertius, who just, Minertius, who's decided to pop up, which I he was the point of view I actually really liked. Because you got an understanding of who he was and his backstory became more and more interesting. Stepan... I thought hurt the story. Magretto, I didn't feel like we really needed that. I would have cut a few of those, cut a few of those things. But yes, there just wasn't enough. And I, in fact, I did a little bit of research and there are a lot of readers on Goodreads who are just like, what was the point? Why was this necessary? And someone kind of said a, a really great argument of like, the story is complex. The story is complicated and it does take you on this ride and it has to be somewhat sort of like ferocious in its telling because you know to kind of match the subject and I was like no no nice try 